Eve. We're gonna go get a Christmas tree. Do you want a Christmas tree to try to eat and drink up the water? Of? I think so. We went to the Boy Scouts down the road. Slim pickings. Slim pickings. And we were like almost going to be okay with it, but then like Peter like ran his finger on it and they're, all of the pine needles fell off. Too dried out, so yeah. we're gonna try to find some. I'm gonna real Google quick. some places, but also like Lowe's and places do that. Yeah. Um so yeah, that's our that's our predicament right now. We're gonna find one. And a beautiful one. Slightly more legitimate looking than the Boy Scouts that we were just at. <laughs> Look. Okay. Let's look. Yes, much more promising. Okay, this is our core front door right now, but it literally has nothing on it's, the back, but it's like made for a corner. It's like Kevin from the office, how he's bald on top, <laughs> but he's got hair on the sides. Yeah. I kind of think this is the winner. I think this is it, but let's keep looking just for a minute. So this one's still not bad, but I still think the needles were really good on that fridge for over there. Is this one too short? Um, no but I think the needles weren't as nice as the, the yeah. needles were nicer on the other one. What does blue spruce look alike? Here's the Fraser fir. The bottom we're gonna clean up a little bit and we know some of these branches are gonna fall but the leaves, the needles feel good and strong yeah, and intact. Like thicker needles. And the branches are thick, good ones. So it's got that bald spot on the back like it's got a receding hairline for a tree. <laughs> but, but honestly, I, it'll be good for our corner. I corner? Actually like the, the top like that because I know our star will go on top and it, it kind of looks like yeah. it's quirky. Good? Yeah. Two world, here we come. I'm looking for a drill bit because we'll have to cut, we'll have to drill a hole into the bottom of that tree to go on a tree stand and we have some drill bits but not the big size that we need so I'll need to go find one. I'm not 100% on the size I want, so I'm just going to make it an investment in my life and I'm going to get this variety pack. It's probably going to be one of these two here. That one might be too big. So we also ended up getting a pot to move Peter's pumpkins into. We're still going to try and grow them. We'll see how that ends up, but we're hopeful. And then we got a new Christmas mat and we're going to put the tree in here. Never done this before. I really thought we were going to do it on the top. Nope. Well, say a prayer for our tree. All right, here we go. It's time for Peter's green thumb. We got a pot to transplant the pumpkins. I know we got a lot of people in the comments saying it's not going to happen, but Peter Brookhart's stubborn, so he's going to try until they all die. But we got this nice big terracotta. I'm gonna cut some more splittings off of this. I'm gonna plant this one I rooted because it's doing very well. And I said I don't want this, I don't like this one, so I'm gonna try to transplant this into this one once I get all that out of there into the terracotta. But pumpkin roots are very easy shockable, so I'm nervous that I will get it transplanted and they will shock the roots, but we'll see. What you doing? Working and eating. Here's our, here's our new pumpkin pot. So it's got some of my philodendron in there that's the roots are stuck in there and I, I tied up some little trellis looking things for the ah! pumpkin. Hey, he was mad because there's, there's tomatoes. tomatoes. I replanted that one. Here's our Christmas tree. It's in the, in the stand. We're gonna let it fall a little bit before we decorate it. Here's another plant that I replanted. Here's our primary plant looking good. I cut a lot of extra leaves off of it that just didn't need it. And then I actually got a whole slew of new ones that I have going to get rooted. These are three that will root and get replanted. And don't mind my paper plate because we had some left over from when we had a party. Here is the really quick dinner I made for Sarah and I just seasoned chicken, some sriracha, tomatoes, and couscous, and a little spritzer in our spode cup. Woo! Do what you used to do when we would go and Tell them where we're headed. Disney Springs. I'm about to expose Peter because um, 
he spent the last hour like YouTubing free dabs performances. <laughs> so he's really hoping that they'll be there. Did you look up their schedule? I don't know if they have a schedule to look up. One, this is the first time we're seeing this. Yeah, gelato bar. <laughs> it does smell like a garlic oven. What my two is gonna say is I have not seen any of these Christmas decorations yet. It's of course not a real trip to Disney Springs without some free chocolate. I think I see caramel, but hopefully it's peppermint bark by now. Caramel, on caramel, on caramel. One peppermint bark. And now that it's properly opened, you must follow the free Giardelli. With a, with a hand scrub. It's extra juicy. What flavor are you going with today? Ooh. The absolute best part about the reimagined store is the napkins up top. And it's true. It doesn't look much different though. No. It looks nice. Yeah. But that's game changer. And what are you going with? I have to do peppermint, especially because I have Christmas tree sap all over me. <laughs> it's time to do the Christmas tree trail. I did it with Mark and Brooke a couple weeks ago, but... Does it snow? It does snow, but we did it kind of quick, so I'm excited to take our time here. Honestly, I think this one was my favorite from what I saw when I edited. Mm -hmm. It's like I think all this of is, Disney parks. Unless they move things around, maybe they have two of these, because this is at the end, but this is my favorite. Yeah. The monorail is the best. Mm -hmm. Here we got classic red mini. They say Mickey and Minnie, but this is Scream's red mini. With the bow on top. Oh yeah. Here's Pluto's. I love the, the doghouse on top. And why are there so many, so Mickey many waffles? Mickey waffles? Oh, I think because they're dog toys. Oh. Also, why do I think I can just touch this tree? Because you can. See what? Oh, oh, look at this. Oh, Maybe they, what if they had the Christmas vests Eve size? They're all sold out all over property, guys. We haven't been able to find it. That no, one's fancy. That's the best part. Yeah. Those yeah. I wish they were for sale. These ornaments are also in the tree in Bell's Enchanted Christmas. What's your favorite Bell's Enchanted Christmas song? I don't know. As long yeah. as. Christmas. The Little Mermaid tree has all sorts of fishies and globes. There's even a ton of like cute like movie posters. I guess this one is like performances, food, just like ads. Oh my gosh. This is the best one. Have you seen this dinosaur? If found, please return to Dr. Seeker. <laughs> The future is truly in the past. DVC lounge. <laughs> I love these. I never I know, I didn't see the these posters. Alrighty, who do we have here? Ah, oh, I love all the little the fairy hats. And this spinning wheel. Mulan. This is different from last year. I did I do think yeah. they spunked them up. Let's get down to business, Jim. Oh, that is cute. Seven guys farms. Fairest of them all. That must mean this is Snow White. And look at that. Reindeer, forest friends. We got Alice in Wonderland. Yeah, that's cute. What? Pinocchio. Oh. Ooh. This was not here last year. It's a super creepy lady in the middle of it. Madame Leola's music lessons from Regions Beyond. Boogie. Yeah. Oh, look at the the TV with the cartoon from 100 that the 101 Dalmatians are watching. Uh, All the villains. Everybody is representative. Comment below what different elements you can point out for different villains like the tentacles up there are obviously for Ursula. A little poster for Dumbo. This one was one of my favorites last year. Yeah. 
Oh, well, here's Star Wars, and I think it's both very cheesily done, but very wonderfully done. Like, the cheesiness works with it. I love it. Once again, the best thing about this one is the copper. Look at that. We got a Robin Hood tree with a lot of, like, custom-made decorations. Not ornaments, not character dolls, but custom decorations. I didn't realize that even, like, the, the area around the base is all decorated. So this one is Peter Pan. It has a really cute big Ben at the top. Oh yeah, Hook and Pan Sword, Michael's Bear and John's Hat, and then Rapunzel's hair all the way through. Are you kidding me? Met a guy who's got you shook and pressed him with your brand new look. But I'm curious of why it's right next to the man cub. Bears and bears. True, I guess. That doesn't make sense. I like that it's like Baloo's disguise. You know where he wears the coconut on his mouth? Yeah. Like a the classic one. I'm glad they didn't go cheesy toys with this. It's just good old fashioned yeah. decorations for the Muppets. And their little faces. Cute oh. little umbrella at the end. So. And the second to last one being Vantasia. I like the little cutouts that they made. The, the mushrooms, the water buckets, and what's the last? Before it was at Disney Parks. Oh. Like the alien heads and the sheriff badges. And the paper chains. What do you think? Loved it. It's so well done. I wish that was my job. Whose job is it? Maybe it'll be your job one day. After the Christmas tree trail, you have no choice but to go into days of Christmas. But really, like, you have no choice. There's, there's no other way to go. Christmas threw up in the on the road. Good Seriously. Shot. I was like, maybe it'll be a little Christmas in here. Oh, uh, yeah. Peter is eyeing these Quiet Man brand hats. Like, the actual movie that we love. They have scarves, too. I need one of each. One of each? I need a meal at Raglan Road. We're home. Cozy. It's been a little bit because it started pouring and I took a shower because I went for a run. But you should be proud. Went for a run on a treadmill in our apartment's workout uh, fitness center. But it was by far one of the worst experiences of my life. There was like no air circulation. There was like no AC on. And I've never sweat you more. you like that all the time? Maybe. Peter's been healthier than I have. Let's just face it. As I eat sugar on a stick. Um, I was planning on going tomorrow. Well, we're both going to go tomorrow. Okay. But it, I was supposed to run eight. I ran five. But I've, I, I've no, because I've been running so frequently. I worked harder and sweat more for the five miles than I have any other miles in months. Yikes. But we're having fun tonight. Mm. It's 10.20. We got 40 minutes till bedtime. We're having fun. First up, I'm making some Rington Earl Grey black tea. My thing didn't work so well, but it'll be fine. This is from Newcastle from Sean and Caroline. So I'm going to try that. I froze the cider from Megan and Katie mm -hmm. from Ohio yep. for so Sarah when she was. And so we thawed that the other day, and we're going to make hot apple cider. And I'm about to make something fancy here that I've wanted to for years. Taking the last bit of my red wine from 19 Crimes and using this, heating it up in that, and putting aspen mulling spices to make hot spiced wine like they have yep. at the Chris Kindle Market in Chicago. Good idea. Ready for sleepy yeah, sisters? Yeah, it is. We're a little over. It's like 11.10, but um, I got my, my birthday card from my grandma, and we went on to iTunes and saw some good deals, and we got Mamma Mia 2 because we have yet to see that, and if you've been watching us, you knew how excited we were. That was back when we were going to City Walk a lot. That was back when we forgot about, like when we ended our movie pass, was right when that came out because we were like, we wanted it to be the last hurrah, but... But we didn't make it work. And you all know how much we love... make it work. Yes, you know how much we love Mamma Mia. So we'll probably end up like, coming home early tomorrow and watching, watching Mamma Mia 2. But we also bought The Quiet Man because it's been over a year, I think, since I watched it because we lost our copy. So now mm -hmm. we have a digital copy. And what was the other one we bought? Little Women. Little Women. That's one of my The 94 edition. Favorite movies ever. Ever. Love it. 
and we'll be decorating the Christmas tree soon. Don't know yet, but soon. Yeah. It's looking good. It's soaking up the water well, and its leaves, or its uh, branches are starting to fall a little bit. Mm-hmm. It's smelling up the apartment real nice. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.